Put away carnality and increase your spirituality. Let's go. Are you ready? Live talk. Are you ready? This live talk. Are you ready? Live talk. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Live talk. For the word of the day. Uh. The knowledge and the wisdom will increase your faith. Are you ready? For live talk. Because it's about time to set it off. Well, shalom, greetings, and welcome to Live Talk. I'm your host, Jeremiah, author Jeremiah Israel. Um, alongside my two co-hosts here, Minister Samuel. Well, 
Good afternoon, Shalom, and welcome again to Live Talk. And Brother Shubaya, the nice ambassador. <laughs> All right. Again, family, we have a hot topic today. Uh, before we get into that, I want to just give a rundown of what the show looks like today. Um, of course, like always, we have the minister opens up with an inspirational word of the day. And then we're just going to go into our main topic. We'll do a little recap from our last show. And then we're going to get into some questions um, that we're going to pose today uh, for this particular um, program and show today. And then after that, we'll go to a short break. And then we have the ambassador come on and give us something in society about what's going on uh, that we need to be conscious of uh, and very aware of, you know, because there's a lot that's going on today that sometimes it just goes over our heads. And um, then as far as the author, I'm going to give you an illustration of a book that um, I have read and, you know, and it's going to tie right into whatever we're talking about today. And hopefully it can increase uh, your spirituality. All right. So with no further ado, we get right into it. Uh, Minister, I'm going to hand it over to you. What's the word of the day? <laughs> okay. I was saying for today, our thought for the day is speaking globally to a people. Stop looking for validation or acceptance from a system that is systematically designed to keep you at the bottom. Stop looking for inclusion, but focus on the future. When we come together, there is no limit to what we can accomplish. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great word of the day. Um, because we talk about unity all the time, and it's very important that we understand, you know, how important it is because we, we're dealing with any society that you have the masses of the people, you know, that's scattered about, you know, all good people that is, and those that are in authority has gathered together mm -hmm. and, and to keep their rulership in, in place, you know, mm -hmm. and they, they perpetrate all this other stuff, you know, to keep us scattered like that. So great word of the day uh, yeah. that you came up with, Minister. I, I, I like to say something on that because that, that is really, really important, Mr. Minister, a great word of the day. And, you know, as the author was just saying, the, the powers that be, you know, they're not separated. <laughs> you know, they, they portray that to the, mm -hmm. the common people, like they, they are against each other, but mm -hmm. keep, keep in mind, they go to the same golf course communities and live in the same neighborhoods and, and they have different belief systems. Right. But at the end of the day, they know that, hey, we want to keep our power. So the only way we can keep our power is to have the common people disunified, but we're going to show a, a common force. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have one common agenda and and in doing that you know people have to get out of their comfort zone and say well hey you know what i'm gonna take the charge into you know getting with these group over here and i'm gonna you know share some of my thoughts and ideas and what can we do instead of saying that well you know hey these people they they believe in this because I, I noticed something a lot of people even though they're not religious but they will want to disassociate your themselves because of one's chosen religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. and, and I can't understand that for the life of me. Yeah, but you know, that, that goes back to those that are in the high places. You know, this this the type of, you know, uh, information they put out there to, mm -hmm. to keep us separated like that. You know, they'll talk about religion from a, a standpoint of, you know, you, you got, you know, people fighting. You know, you got killings, you know, going on because of religion. Right. But people don't know how much in common they have, what, what's the commonality of, of religion, you know, and that's, that's you know, the most high, you know. And then when you think about the principles um, behind it, we all kind of really believe in the same principles, mm -hmm. you know. And I think if we can come together on those common grounds, you know, we'll be able to just kind of hear each other out and just see where we're coming from so that right. we can right. begin to establish something, you know, of, uh, some type of uh, validity when it comes to us as a people and mm -hmm. coming together as one. So that's, you know, that's something, that's a whole nother topic that we right, can get right, into. Right. <laughs> and I think that's something that we will eventually get into because that's why, you know, when you have all these different nationalities and 
and people think, okay, I'm over here, this, this is me, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. And when you know, when you got, I think Martin Luther King said, when there's injustice in I mean, anywhere. Some, anywhere, you know, there is justice everywhere, right, you right. know, and sometimes people don't really understand that when you see a, a human mm -hmm. being done wrong, you have to step up and say something about that if you're a God fearing person. Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> and, and I know we got a hot topic, but just, just add to what you are saying because the comment that you made about those in charge, when they, when the leaders of this world have that G8 summit, they have different religions. They have different mm -hmm. backgrounds. But when they come together behind that closed door meeting, they are on the same page, like you say, yeah. of keeping the rulership, keeping the wealth, keeping the control where they have it in place. Right. And when they go back to their respective countries, and we're going to use America for an example, mm -hmm. and I don't like getting into politics, but they make it very <laughs> political. But you got a couple hundred people up in there that's making those decisions, mm -hmm. and they argue, and they bicker, and right now they fight like cats and dogs in front of that camera. <laughs> <laughs> but as the ambassador say, when they turn that camera off, mm -hmm. they're in the same golf club, that's they right. go to the same bars, they put their money into the same pool, mm -hmm. and they invest it, and they get wealthy, and they get those positions because they pass that wealth on to their children, and their children's children, right. and they their plan is to keep it that way. Meanwhile, the masses, are, I'm fighting with you because your religion is different. You fight with him because his religion is different, and he fight with me because my religion is different. Mm -hmm. Yet they sit back, and they at the club together saying, "Let them kill one another." Right, thumbs up. <laughs> exactly. Good job. Good job. Exactly. Right. So we got we have to wake up. Yeah, we really do. And that was a, a, a one last thing. That's something I used to show people or try to get them to see. When you see the, the debates or when they're in the, the House or the Congress or doing any of these events, you don't see them jumping up, choking each other. Yeah. You, you're not going to see one blow. You're not going to see no blood. You ain't going to see none of that. They're talking. As you say, they're talking. It's, it's an act. It's, it's a show. You know, it's a show to, you know, um, to portray an image and, and people need to become conscious of that because it has to be the good people to get together to overthrow the bad people. Yeah. You know, that's the only way it's gonna happen. You know, they we can't be separate. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. And they, are, they are performing Hollywood. <laughs> but you know what, that's that's why having like like you know platforms like this here, you know, and being able to bring people on and be able to, you know, see what we're talking about, to be able to say, man, you know what, I've been thinking the same way them guys been thinking you know and then having something in place that we can begin to actually exactly. work together as one you know that's that's the important thing we're not trying to perpetrate anything that divides us right. we're trying to you know bring for you know we have you know that those human needs as individuals that supersedes any you know religion or yeah. you know so those are the things we have to really consider and take, in, take into consideration vital energy there you go. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. So <clears throat> to my listening viewers, um, today I don't have my engineer, my young engineer. He's out. So we're going, I'm going to be, I have to adjust a little bit to that, but um, we're going to work everything out. He's know. there with us. <laughs> <laughs> so bear with us. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and open up the topic today. Um before we do, I just want to do just a recap. We talked with our last, our previous show, um, we talked about like maleness and how being a male don't mean that you are a true man. You know, we talked about um, the qualities of a true man and how he must display more attributes when, it, when dealing, you know, with mm -hmm. his wife or with his children. And we also talked about a real man must have a connection with other, you know, real men and, and you know, as, as a brotherhood, you know, and, and how that relationship build family and communities, you know, and that's um, some of the things that we talk about. You brothers want to just recap or something that you can think about that we talked about last week? Yeah, one point I remember just to bring back up about that maleness and mm -hmm. manhood, like the common for men. A man will not, a man doesn't have to listen to anyone. 
<laughs> but a real man will take heed to the words of wisdom regardless from which they come, be it from a man, a woman, or even a child. Right, right. Most definitely, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um also one of one of the points that, that stood out to me was how a man knows, you know, his responsibilities uh -huh. and that he has a choice. And within his choices, he knows he has to make the right decisions for not only himself, but those that he are responsible for, you know, to lead in righteousness. You know, like I said last week, I believe in that wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. You know, as men, it is a man duty to lead in righteousness. You know, a male per se don't believe that. No. You know, a, a male on the other hand, it just has that do what I got to do mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's uh, one of the reasons why things are in such disarray now, you know, not following after the order of righteousness, you know, right principles. Right. That's, and that's very important when we think about that. Because uh, when it comes to uh, that, that male, uh, per se, um, I always tell, you know, my children, you know, I tell um, uh, my, my, my supposed to be grown boys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I would say, you know, as, as, a, as a male, you know, as a man, you think about things that you do and because you, you look ahead of, of time. So if, if you're making a decision, think about the long haul of that, that decision. So if if you if you choosing a mate, know why you choosing that mate. Because mm -hmm. if you choosing her because she looks good and um she fine and all this stuff, yeah, let's understand <clears throat> she may not be the quality of a a, a woman that you want to be with, mm -hmm. and you end up getting with her, get impregnate her, mm -hmm. and you find out all the hell about her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's not to talk against against our women, our sisters. It can be vice versa, right? But we, we're talking about male and this versus manhood. Mm -hmm. And and another thing, I always tell them: if you don't want to get yourself together, don't go messing up nobody else's life. Mm -hmm. You know, if, yes, if you if your mind ain't ain't focused on doing what you need to be doing, don't go getting with this woman and messing her life up. Because right. I didn't seen that happen. I seen a bunch exactly. of knuckleheads get with with women that that that's focused, want to do right. And this knucklehead bringing them back because yeah. yeah because you you want her to follow you and you like you said and you, you're not righteous you want her to follow you in unrighteousness mm -hmm. and that's the thing because comes, you're a male because you're a male right right mm -hmm. because you're a male and you bold and you strong and you got you got this masculinity you know you you all of this here and you think now like what you were saying about uh you know the misconception of a man you know, nobody tell me nothing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. Mm -hmm. So you listen to me. No, nah, you're a boy. <laughs> and then yeah. you grew up into right. being becoming a man because right now you misled. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah, so that those are all great points that, that was brought up last week. And then I just want to make mention to our, our listening audience. If you do want to chime in, you can always um we can recognize you that way. Um if you're calling in, um likewise you can uh, click on star six, and then you also can enter that way. But again, we're talking about male uh, maleness versus manhood, and this is part two of the conversation uh, from our last show. And I think we talked a little bit about getting a little deeper into this here, mm -hmm. and getting into the actual soul of a man. <laughs> <laughs> Because so spiritually speaking, I'm just going to share this. Spiritually speaking, according to the Encyclopedia Psychic Dictionary, man is a co-creator of his world as an inheritance from his parents. Now, this say the, the universal system, which was created by thought, but we know that's a code word for the most high. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, but thoughts come from the mind. And when we think about it, you know, thoughts come from the mind and it equates to man. Uh, man is greater than what we imagine man to be. And a lot of times we think of man as this idea of what we talked about in our, our previous show, you know, just the one going out, working, uh, you know, bringing the bread back, you know, and just recycling, doing that over and over again without any other responsibilities. Yeah. Um, that's why we, when we talk about 
like the son of man, when we talk about man being more than that, we talk about the son of man, he came with a divine intelligence, you know, mm -hmm. unlike any other, he was able to tap into that universal source mm -hmm. that we seek and search for daily. And I think that's something that, that we just automatically as men um, really seek after, you know, it just, it just becomes a part of us by nature to seek after that because you know that's that that godliness of us uh, but getting into what we really want to um talk about this week <laughs> uh, before i get into that you brothers want to add to that <laughs> y'all good on it oh <laughs> uh, that, that that's whew. really not much to add to that you know, <laughs> that, that was all in itself yeah looking forward to this plate now <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's three words we want to throw out there this week. You know, we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about femininity, um, vulnerability, and empathy. Um, so before I ask the real questions, let's explain to the listening audience and the viewers um, what femi uh, femininity is. And I want to just kind of open it up um, to your brothers and, and, and just kind of, we just want to kind of define it just to see, you know, so that once we get into it, when we talk about it from a, manly uh, point of view we want to we want to pick up on the attributes that that we miss out sometimes as men because we overlook the you know the the, the, the feminine side mm -hmm. um that that really connects us to our, our you know to our wives to our children etc and those are the part of man that that disconnects us and that's why we 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 up under this perception that a man is big, bold, and you know, strong, and right, right. don't cry, and all this stuff here. But there is a side of man. Man has to be, and um, that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. So, when it comes to femininity, what is you know, um, let's throw it out to anyone if you can take it. Um, what, how, how do you define that? You know, when it comes to uh, a man, uh, what would be some of the attributes of that? Because um, we know. Femininity is like womanish and all, you know, we know all the um physical traits. Yeah, we, we know a lot of, of that, and you know we're not that. So what is it about femininity that that attached us as a, as men when we talk about this? I, I like to jump off and run with that one in the beginning. Okay. <laughs> because it, and what you said in the beginning, that's really part of the issue, is because we have it it's it's more it's not just the, the definition will say like feminine feminine or femininity and it deals with the sexuality of mm -hmm. a woman and then masculinity with a man which had men and you have women but femininity is actually a trait and it's Psychologically speaking, is really it's a it's characteristics of what we unfortunately have been taught to attribute only to women. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, <clears throat> to be nurturing, and when the society teaches that the man a woman is nurturing, so a man can't be nurturing because if you show anything feminine, now you become weak. Yeah. And what it has done, it has, it has taught men to move away from their feminine side because femininity isn't a bad word. Masculinity is not a bad word. It's just the cultural has separated them. And I had a definition, but I'm going to just say it how, how I perceive it from the definition. But it's like it has masculinity all the way over here on the opposite end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And it's got femininity over here on the opposite end of the spectrum. And then it almost creates this like battle of the sexes. Mm -hmm. So it makes it, for example, if you were a man and you had to care for your sick parents, so you had a sick dad or sick mom, you should be able to care for your sick father or your sick mother and be taking care of them and nurturing them and not feel that you're weak right. because you can care for them. Mm -hmm. that, that's actually a part of you being a man. 
And it's not that a woman can do it, but because of cultural norms, and especially in Western society, it's, they've drawn these lines of male, female, feminine, and masculine, and they made them so contrast that it takes men away from being like what we spoke of, for example, crying and being emotional is a, is a feminine trait. But that's really not true. Mm -hmm. It's like if it, they did, studies have been done, and most people, like on the brain, we got those two hemispheres. And I don't want to misquote it because it's the left and the right side. But women, and it's a proven fact, they work better on that one side of their brain. And that side deals more with emotionalism. It's why women are so easy to talk to one another mm -hmm. and share their feelings and lay things out. Whereas men, we got the same brain. And there's no difference. It's just we have a tendency of gravitating the one side more. So it makes us less apt to talk about mm -hmm. our emotions, our feelings, our vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. And then we put up this sort of maleness to think <laughs> we don't want anything to do with that. And then it that see because we want to be strong but then it actually makes us weak see because of weak if we can't have a conversation with one another and work out our differences how is that strength right. okay you so to solve it we're going to get the sword and we're going to go to war and if i can kill him then i'm right you solved it <laughs> and if he killed me he's right mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be much better if we could talk about what the differences were right. and work it out? Right. Is that being feminine or emotional? No, that's a weakness. To the only thing I can do is take out my sword and go to war. Right. So feminine has a lot of traits, but we've been taught that anything feminine from a male perspective was bad, and anything masculine from a female perspective is bad. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop to go around, but it's like because now we have like being aggressive or being a go getter in business. That used to be the man, man. But now we have we found out women are just as intelligent. So is it wrong for a woman to have drive and to be a go getter and to be competitive? Like those are all masculine traits. But we've been taught that they only appeal to men. They're just characteristics, mm -hmm. and they can be male. Female, a man or woman can use those traits. Right. Now, physically, we may be stronger, but that's not where our strength only lies. Um, but I'm going to stop right there to um, let the conversation go. <laughs> <laughs> man, I felt like I was in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that was very profound, Mr. Minister. Um, you hit on some really good points, some really good points. When it comes to the uh, the characteristics of femininity, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's non-gender. You know, in this Western culture, they have put gender on it. You know, mm -hmm. um, I, I went into the uh, Webster's New World Dictionary, and you know, when I was you know checking it out, I seen that femininity means to be gentle and and delicate, mm -hmm. and you know, these are parts of those are parts that we as a man have to have yeah. to, especially if you're talking about playing a leadership role, right. you know, because I can't just pull out the sword every time. That, that's not solving the problem. Right. You know what I mean? And to, to be gentle means to, uh, to be pleasantly mild. Mm -hmm. You know, and if I'm pleasant, that means I am pleasurable. You know, right. people are going to be willing to listen to me. You know, I'm that calm, cool, collected one. So it's easier, uh, how they said when I was younger, it's easier to get uh, 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 bees with honey than, than with, with flies with honey. Right, you know, yeah. instead of, you know, with the BS. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're known to always be harsh and aggressive and, 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 and BSing around, People are not going to be wanting to deal with you. Right. Then you become an island. And then your island, you're going to grow more aggressive and more angered because people are not dealing with you. And no matter what some uh, people may think, we all want people. 
we all need people. We we're created that. You know, um, another thing about the, the femininity is that it's that nurturing spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's a scripture that say uh, if a child asks his father for bread, would he give him a snake? Mm -hmm. That's that femininity. That's that nurturing spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to take care of my son. I want to take care of my daughter. Right. And then it goes a step further, and I want to be able to take care of my woman, right? You know, I want to be able to take care of my family, mm -hmm. you know, my, my grandparents, you know, and things of that nature. So um, femininity is non-gender based, mm -hmm. you know, uh, again, as I always like to speak on, that's the conditioning of, of the people, you know, because uh, as the minister just spoke on, Women operate one side of the brain more than we do. And that's that side that we have been cut off from going through what we went through. We was we was uh, conditioned, trained to be a certain type of way. Right. You know, the worker, the stud, the breather, you know, then they separate that. And after, you know, decades and centuries, it produces something, you know what I'm saying? So we lose touch with that um that nurturing spirit of femininity in us when we think about, you know, the almighty, the almighty is both masculine and exactly. feminine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He, he gives birth and, you know, he also, you know, punishes, yeah. you know, according mm -hmm. to the definitions, like you mm -hmm. were saying, they got one on this end and one on that end. But when you really get into defining these things outside of the physical gender, they correlate. Right. You know, it's it's characteristics, it's attributes. You know, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, I like I like where you came from. Well, I just want to um, remind and listen to the audience. Um, if you do want to chime in on this, uh, you can unmute yourself, and uh, we can recognize you. You can come right in. Uh, do we have a caller that's unmuted? No, we don't, we didn't, but now I would like to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it's your brother Gabriel Israel out of San Antonio, Texas. How y'all doing? Uh, shalom and welcome, my brother. Shalom, brothers. You know, the one thing you just uh, mentioned that, that hit me in thought is Yahweh ben Yahweh describing himself as a sun-clad woman. Mm. For one of the most important figures that we have, to take on that allegory for himself to explain a point, being spiritual is far more important than being looked at in a physical way as opposed to his manhood. So when I, when I think of that, I think, okay, so for me, being a father in a house with three women, there's a, there's a, a distinction yeah. between the manhood and feminism and being manly, which they remind me with how deep my voice is and the way I uh, approach things, you know. <laughs> they remind me of that. But it's also another thing that I have to remind myself of is that, okay, I have to be able to translate to this little girl. I need to be able to speak and get my point across to her, but not come across too male like me. And, and to be able to receive her as well. So I have to have my ear open. I have to be sensitive enough to have my ear open and make what she has a problem with matter and, and not just throw it off as being no big deal because it's girly. So it, it's, a, uh, it's a shift in, in the mindset in order to get across spiritual that matters more than the physical to me. I could be seen as, uh, for instance, the other day, my little girl had ponytails in the head. You know, and I've got dreads and they, they put the poor tails in my head, you know, <laughs> and that's not, a, I don't mind people seeing me like that because I have a connection with my daughter on a spiritual level, as opposed to worrying about what somebody thinks about me on the physical. I think sometimes we put that way too far ahead, you know, because there's always going to be somebody better. I, we all, we all know that already. there's always somebody bigger and better, but there's not always somebody smarter and more spiritual. So that's, that's a blessing. Yes, Just wanted to add that, brothers. Thank you for letting me share. No problem. We appreciate you, brother, for chiming in. You know, that's, that's, um, yeah. I mean, we, we talked about 
um, like the actress you talk about gentle, and that was a, a, a huge one. And then uh, our brother just came in, he talked about sensitivity, you know, being sensitive. And, and I think that's very important as well. That's an attribute um, of a man as well as a woman, you know. Um, and I think a lot of times we we try to shy away from, and matter of fact, shy is, is um, an attribute of femininity too. Oh, yes. But we try to shy away <laughs> from being sensitive about certain things because we want to keep that macho type, you know, yep. um, demeanor, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And when I think about it, I was reading a, a post from a female, <clears throat> and she had mentioned that she had walked into a store or something, and the uh, she said, and the lady came out and said, um. Um, I think um, we got a call. I want to chime in. Call yeah. with your line on muted. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, sir. What's your name? Yes, yes, sir. We can. My name is Yahuda Ben Israel. All right, Shalom. Yeah, brother. Brother. Yahuda Ben Israel. Shalom. <laughs> brother. Shalom, Shalom, brother. Shalom. 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 You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to chime in on something. If, if, um, if you really think about it, like, okay, the male is composed of the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. So quite naturally, we already have it in us to be masculine and feminine at the same time. But the thing is that, especially given this day and age, even back in the, you know, like in the early, like fifties and sixties, you know, it, it was all about masculinity back then, whatever. You, know, so you couldn't be soft, whatever. Especially nowadays with all the violence and the gangs and all that other stuff, whatever. You know, uh, masculinity is at a whole nother level now. You feel what I'm saying? So everybody always tries to, well, men, especially the younger crowd, you know what I'm saying? They always got a point to prove, whatever. There's no right. balance because they're not familiar. They don't have knowledge of, and you could trust me on this, 90% of the youth right now don't even know what an X chromosome or a Y chromosome is. <laughs> yes, so, so being that they don't have knowledge of that, they lean more towards what their gender entails, which is right, yeah. male, right? So, mm -hmm. so I think that that being more comfortable with being compassionate, which is viewed as being soft in this male dominated world, you know, and uh, being more uh, um, um, lenient and passive, which can also be interpreted as being soft if you're around the wrong people. You know, I, I think once, um, once, once an individual is taught about the X chromosome and the Y chromosome, and it's really broken down to them, then they'll become more, more, um, more inclined to actually embody it once they get a full understanding of it. You get what I'm saying? Knowledge of self. Knowledge of self. And that and that is the epitome of knowledge of self. You are male, men. We are a genetic makeup of the Y chromosome and the male chromosome. I mean the Y chromosome and the X chromosome. We are we are the only ones the male doesn't produce, I mean the woman doesn't produce the gender for the baby. It comes from the man. The, the woman doesn't produce the gender for the baby. It comes from the man. We are the ones that, that secrete the X chromosome or the Y chromosome inside of the womb. You agree? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> so so uh, I think knowledge itself is, 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 is what needs to start. It is what needs to be promoted, especially amongst the youth nowadays, because they are the future. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and when that is done, then I think over time that we'll become more, men will become more comfortable with being uh, uh, not feminine, but you know, more, more, more emotional, more, more, um, 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 you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. I praise that Yahweh. That kind of relates and associate with men, you know, because um, and I get where you're coming from when, when you're talking about that, because um, looking at like if we don't research and study it and understand it, we'll always be just leaning toward that masculinity side. And we won't never consider the feminine side, because the only thing we can think about the feminine, the feminine side is 
woman, like being like a, a mm -hmm. feminine, like a woman. We don't look at all the attributes that are associated with what you're talking about. When we talk about, you know, um, being graceful, like for one of them, you know, that's that's to connect to the most high. Yep. You know, <laughs> he's the gracious one. You know, that's a part of us. That's who we are. You know, when we talk about when you talk about being gentle, you know, that's a part of the, the attribute that we have to take on that comes from that feminine side that, we, that we'll be talking about. And I think when we don't open up the airways like this to be able to talk about it and define it, we'll always be a, a little, you know, um, um, we, we won't have the full knowledge right, right, that we right. need in order to become right. true men. That's, that's what that's about. Because you can, true, I mean... <laughs> Think about knights, for instance, you know, we think about when, when knights, you know, they, they was, you know, gentle men, you know, and they, they was warriors, mm -hmm. um, but they protected women. Yeah. That's where chivalry come from. Right, right. right. <laughs> you know, when we talk about, about they were called cavaliers. And cavaliers and, and yeah. stuff like that. When we talk yeah. about, even when we talk about femininity, we, we talk about chivalry. You know, like when people yeah. say chivalry dead, you know, like you, you, you lay down and you open the door for a woman. Like we don't do certain things like that no more because we 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 don't think that's masculine or we that's it's soft. no one feel weak right too yeah. Soft. Yeah. So, soft soft you know <laughs> so so, all, so male it's got to be male if, if, if it's not male we want nothing to do with it mm -hmm. like and to this point about the x and the y that was a beautiful and a beautiful comment because it's and what you said also ambassador about a male dominated society and i can't call a king i'd have to research him but there was a king and he was executing his wives mm -hmm. because they wouldn't bear him a male child. Oh, you know, mm, yeah, and I, oh. I don't want to say the wrong name, but you know, he was executing them. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, dude, you produce the chromosome that produced the male and female, but you having them beheaded because they won't give you. <laughs> that's just, but when you, that's just totally logical. But in your mind, that's from the male dominated society that I'm going to keep killing them until I can get me one to produce a male child. It's not them, that was you <laughs> because. You produce the X and the Y, which will make that that male child. And we almost need to almost get away from the term feminine and masculine. Yeah. And see, we like to talk about attributes because attributes, because we've been taught from a, a specifically as males that if it's feminine, it's negative. Right, right. We should have nothing to do with it. Right. And it's and, and then it makes us stay away like things for example um attributes of femininity not just being soft but caring and romantic all that's part of being feminine right but it's like if you disassociate and don't want to have nothing to do with femininity you're missing the beauty of having a romantic relationship because Absolutely. you only want a male dominated relationship and i Absolutely. think that's, that's going back to, to what to what we are saying when we talk about a male dominant society um, just going back to that post that I was talking about, and the, the, even the females that don't have a man um, have turned into this this masculine side. Yes. And you know when and on the post that the the sister was saying like she it kind of threw her off guard. She came into a store and the woman said, "You are so feminine." I mean, like she said, "I, I love your femininity." Like and just kind of in sharing with her, and she said, "Wow, it caught me by surprise because." I never seen that side of me. I'm so, I'm so used to being strong and have to protect right, right, myself right. and being bold and all this stuff here. And, and then she shared this with me and it just brought a different light out of me. And I thought to myself, I said, man, this whole society, like even when dealing with our sisters, because even, even, even like some of these males that they get caught up with, mm -hmm. they teach them, you know, they have to be strong because they're hurting them. Yep. They're destroying them. So now they got the next person come like I'm, I'm right. hard, I'm tough, <laughs> you know, like you come in at me, like I'm ready yeah. for you now. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, we can, we can go for blows, right? Right. So it's like almost the whole society has moved to just this myth, this masculine, uh, this this yeah, masculine right. side, right. Right. you know, this strong, being bold, like don't come with me, I ain't soft, and all this stuff here. That it takes, you know, it's taking that away even from our females. That's, yeah. and that's an I want to touch on something before um, uh, before we get on. To the point that, brother. You, you'll chime back in, sir? Yes, sir. Um, Silica, excuse me. Um, when you said something about teach, I was thinking back uh, back when I was younger, 
know, because I'm 34 years old right now. So back when I was younger, and you know, when uh, my uncles, my dad, when he was there, back when I was younger and I hurt myself and I started crying, the first thing they'll say is, oh, stop being so crying for girls. <laughs> Don't be no but you punk. you was in pain and it hurt it. <laughs> right, but I was in pain and it hurt it. So it was a constant thing. Oh, Cause back when I was young, I didn't play football. And then when I did attempt to play football, you know, I, I got hit too hard. And I was like, man, man, uh, I'm not on that. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I, ain't trying, I ain't trying to do that no so, more. <laughs> so, right, right. But, but, but my uncles, my mom, boyfriend at the time, I was viewed as being a, a, a wuss, being, being a soft, being like a girl, whatever. So, so if, 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 if that's being promoted more than a hey, son, it's all right to cry, you know, just is 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 you know, it's it's cool, whatever. You make me feel like um it's bad for me to cry, whatever. Is 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 bad for me to embrace my emotional side, you know what I'm saying? My feminine side is bad for me to do that, whatever. But if you was to tell me, hey man, you know it's all right to cry, whatever, you know what I'm saying, you'll make me feel like okay, you know what I'm saying, you'll make me grow into a comfortable. A, a, a comfortable state of mind of, you know, hey, I mean, it's okay to cry. And then I could pass that down, you know what I'm saying, to my youth, but through the knowledge of Yode Wave and me being balanced in my uh, walk of life, I know better. So when I talk to my uh, nephews and nieces or whatever, you know, I, I, I teach them, hey, man, it's all right to be, you know, uh, 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 passive and, 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 and express yourself, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's all right to do that. Don't never be ashamed. I tell both of them to do that, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I want them to embrace being masculine and being feminine. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, Praise know, and, and to that point, that's a, that's a very good point. I want to touch on that because I experienced the same thing growing up. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I had a brother that was, uh, he was an athlete. Every, everything he did, he was a star. And he, he got me into playing football and the same thing. I took a hit one day, and I was like, uh-uh, no, I ain't, I ain't doing that. You know, not, now I want to be the wide right receiver. I, I just want to go straight down the field and catch the ball. You know, I ain't, I ain't doing no running back, I ain't doing no, I ain't doing none of that, right? And as the brother said that, you know, if we teach the youth, you know, the knowledge of self that, you know, the X and Y, the characteristics of these things, hey, that can give them a fuel to fuel that passion. To fire up that passion. It's okay. Okay, you don't want to do that? Okay, fine. You know what I mean? Because it's not for everybody to do that. Right. However, let's give it a shot in a different way. Let me show you how to protect yourself. If you see someone coming to hit you, mm -hmm. hey, try to spin. Hey, go low. Hey, do this. You know, you have to teach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, brace yourself for a hit. Yeah. You know, and I know as a kid, they ain't tell me none of that. They, they just want you to just get up and do it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that all is about, you know, that comes about with learning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and to the point that the uh, the other brother from Texas was saying, you know, he brought up a, a valid report that goes back to the X and Y. You know, he said that, hey, you know, I got dreads and my daughter have ponytails and, and they put the, 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 the things in my head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that brings a connection. She, she'll never forget that. Right. She'll be 60 years old, you know, with that memory of him and them. You know what I mean? That's that nurturing spirit. That's that's that. That's what we have to get back to. I, I'm a... <laughs> I, I just got to jump. They say confession is good for the soul. They, we associate long hair was also associated with the infeminine. Now in this culture, we learn that men can have long hair, women can wear short hair. I have long hair. One of my grandchildren was doing my hair, getting their hair done. And they wanted to put the bows in my hair. But that mail this for me. Would not allow them to put the bows. And they be like, Samuel, the child just won't put the But see, we have to be able to humble ourselves and, and get out of our that cultural norm. Mm -hmm. That's my child. If she wanna put that bow, it's like, why was that so hard for me? I gotta admit that was hard for me, and I wouldn't let her do it. She just wanted to put a bow in my hair. She getting bows in her hair, my hair longer than hers. But it's so we have to really work on that because it has an impact. And like what the brother was saying, like when we don't cry, 
you, you got hurt, don't cry. You in pain, you break something, you break a bone. You, I gotta go get my bone reset. What you mean I can't? I got a busted bone. We not supposed to cry. When you hold that stuff in, mm -hmm. then it becomes trauma. Yeah. And you start having emotional. Mm -hmm. So then you gotta have an opportunity to let it like you go through years and it's sad, but it, this and this is what happens today when you're not you somebody getting abused at home. They not let and all of a sudden you just in the store getting your water and they accuse you of stepping in front of them. So now they want to all of a sudden that outburst of all these years of holding in what they should have been letting out, that feminine side, it all of a sudden comes out on you. This about a bottle of water, or this about who was first in the grocery store line. Now they're ready to fight and murder and kill you when it's not really about that water. Right. It's about all that abuse it's that they've suffered, been yeah. holding and that pain that they've been holding in and now eventually lets itself out and then it can come out at the wrong time and make a simple situation a horrible situation. And that's why I said like we we hold on to a lot of that stuff, you know, and I think we was talking about a little bit, you know, we, we came from different households, different experiences. And we have to walk with these experiences throughout our lifetime. And even when we get connected, you know, when we talk about religion and spirituality, um, a lot of that stuff still hunts us. And, and whether the experience, like what you talked about, and, and then like what, what my brother was talking about, you know, um, a lot of that stuff can, can hunt you. You know, you start thinking about a lot of that stuff. I had a, a friend, you know, um, he he was, you know, this male, like, real bold. And, you know, he he got into some altercation with God a long time ago. And he still remembered that mm. to this day. And although, you know, you we was children, man. You, <laughs> like, how you going to bring, you know, and, and we all, we thought differently. But we but that, that hunted him. That, that obviously bothered him all the way up to that time but you never had that conversation like what you're talking about is men why can't we sit down and have that conversation so we, i can kind of understand where you come from then you can i kind of understand right, me right, you right. know and that that way we can build that connection you know as men that's why we talk about men true men connect with other men you know they would connect we could um when we connect together, we build that that community mm -hmm. of brotherhood that we can share information like this, uh, and we can be able to, to assist brothers that may be going through those type of things in their lifetime. But um, I don't believe I have time to get right into a lot of the questions that I, I wanted to to get into, <laughs> and I think we did uh, touch on. A lot when it when it comes to that, that feminine that feminine side. I know we didn't get really into vulnerability, um, which somewhat goes into the, the, the same um scenario when we talk about um the feminine side, when we talk about being um uh, gentle, uh, when we talk about you know um that's being uh having that that spirit of you know um kindness, you know. Uh, when we talk about all these type of things here, I think vulnerability is is a big component, and I think empathy is one of them as well. And I know we don't really have time to get really into it like I would like for us to. Um, but at this time, unless you brothers want to just chime in on one part of that, um, we're going to go to a quick break, and then we're going to come back. Um, well, you know, I, I kind of just want to go back to the, 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 the feminine thing and about okay. um you know when when the brother was saying that you know when when he took that hit and I can speak from personal experience you know um as I shared before you know I grew up in a household where I was you know abused mm -hmm. you know and <clears throat> for so long you know I helped it in because I had to be a man right or a male <laughs> right and as I get older it's, it's raging on the inside because in my mind, don't nobody care about me. Right. How, how can they let this happen? Mm -hmm. But I ain't told nobody nothing. <laughs> you know, I, and I can look back and see that now, but then in, in my youthful stage, you know, I, I'm thinking, man, well, hey, help, they help, help. People that have acknowledged that. You right. Have said you know, <laughs> and as I got older, it'll be times to where because of you know, the warmness in my mind, 
you know, because I, I grew up different. You know, a lot of people, they wouldn't understand it if you didn't been through it. And that's where the conversation come in. At. That's where the conversation come in at where we have to, you know, talk to one another and share our experiences so we can get to, you know, help each other. Right. You know, because for a long time that that it had a, a, a anger hurt in me. Right. And that will come out at the, like you say, the wrong time. Mm -hmm. And, and then I, I take somebody on somebody else where I would do something in an irrational state thinking, I'm going to show him. Mm -hmm. And you 10,000 miles away. Yeah, you yeah. go on another planet. <laughs> but, you know, I'm acting out to, to get what I'm thinking is get back. Yeah. But it's really a tension in my warped state of mind because I don't know how to communicate that. I don't know how to be uh, sensitive, you know, to, to say that, hey, you know, this is happening, or man, look, that, that is wrong. And I, I don't know. All I know is what they teach me. You know what I'm saying? They, and they tell me, uh, I, I remember one time, you know, um, my brother cut cut my finger off, and we was playing Voltron with real nine. Now, mind you, this guy is almost 10 years older than me, so I'm seven. So he is like 16, 17 years old. And he cut my finger off, and he looked at me, you know what he said? Need to know pain. Mm. Uh, uh, wow. wow. That's, 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 you know, I'm tearing up just thinking about this. Mm. You know what I mean? And I know it's a lot of people that are going through that. And I just want to chime in and let people know that, hey, you know, um, femininity is important. It is important that you are, you know, mild tempered. It is important that you are sensitive. It is very important because there can be someone in life that you can save. Not just in the in the in the sense of they're about to die, but in the sense of maybe going to prison, you know, growing up and acting out. You know, you think they just acting out because they bad, but they're really seeking attention. Yeah. They really want someone to talk to, but don't know how. That's it, right there. Don't know how. So I, I just want to share that. Yeah, and, and that's important. I mean, because even even you talk about that. Uh, we don't know even the history behind what may have happened to your brother or right. what may have happened to the person that that did you know we we have a history in this country of you know being treated a certain way and then as as men we had to just show that male side you know we we could never show the other side because it was you know too much hell going on it's like um you you go out and you come home you mad at your wife you mad at your children you mad at everybody you know what i'm saying because you had to deal with this, this 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 society, and I'm just talking about within our culture. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not speaking on anyone else's culture, but I'm, I'm speaking within our culture. And it's a lot that we have dealt with as you know, uh, black folks in this in, in this country um, that has led to a lot of. It. But you know, as we become conscious, and that's very important that we become conscious of this, so that we can change that narrative that we have always been. Um, you know, presented with and that 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 mindset, so that we can understand that we have to have that that feminine, feminine side, um, and, and able to embrace our children, you know, our sons and our daughters and etc. All right, so um, at this time we're gonna go to a quick break, and we'll be right back.
Hey, it's your my Israel here, author and host of Live Talk. Just to ask you a question. Have you purchased a new book, The Spiritual Significance of a Name? If not, why not? The Spiritual Significance of a Name is a book that can really put you on a journey to define who you are. Have you ever searched for your purpose or wondered about your purpose? Have you ever considered or thought about the names that you may name your children or even the name that you may have? These are all powerful thoughts that comes across your mind and it's all given to you through the Most High because he put us on this earth with a purpose and you can find your purpose within your name. Pick up the book today. Go to www.yeremiahisrael.com That's www.yere M-Y-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L dot com and purchase the book. Purchase the book so you can be on your journey to defining your true purpose. All right, so welcome back. Welcome back. Um, as you may already know, um, the hot topic today was male and versus manhood. Uh, we had some great conversation today, brothers, <laughs> on that topic. I'm excited. You know, I can't wait to hear the playback <laughs> and be able to share it as well on our YouTube channel. Uh, but we're going to get right into um, the ambassador thoughts of the day um, in society. So, ambassador, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, thank you. Um, so this week, thoughts came from the situation that they have in Afghanistan. And, you know, they're doing the, the evacuation of American citizens, right? Mm -hmm. and, and before I get to that, you know, it, I just found it odd that they've been withdrawing troops for years now. Mm -hmm. However, you know, the, the, the military war or whatever or military occupation of afghanistan is to end on the 31st of this month right and you just starting to take people away <laughs> you know some, something is not right <laughs> something is not right here you know um but going back i was watching one of the the um press conference and the guy said that you know, they're, they're, they're going to make sure that all U.S. citizens have the ability to, to leave. And he went to talking about, you know, uh, the even the, the nationalized one that's been patriotic. So I was like, huh? I was kind of confused about that. Mm -hmm. So I went and got some understanding on that. So they have people that's been working with them, some that they was training uh, militarily and some that was uh, letting them know, hey, the bad guys are here, or, mm -hmm. or you know, hey, I'm going to show you around here. You know, people that was just trying to help the U.S. to, you know, um, have a safe passage in, right? Okay, you're talking about the, 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 the native there, right? Right, right. The, the native the there, the okay. Afghanistan. Okay. So what they are doing, they are like swearing in some of these people, kind of like when you come to America to get your green card or whatnot. You know, mm -hmm. you go to the the the, the, uh, the courthouse or whatever, and you do a little swearing in. And they have done that. However, the guy said that there's 1,000, no, I'm, I'm sorry, 50,000 patriots, Americans, meaning that there are 50,000 Afghanistans who have been sworn in as American citizens. So I was like, that's a very small amount. You know, there's a lot of people in Afghanistan, yeah. you know. So I, I I did the research, but I left my notes. Um, but it's like, man, millions of people over here. You know what I'm saying? You're saying you only have 50,000 that you're scoring in. But the thing that really struck me, uh, as I said, is that the whole smoke and mirror, you know, um, they're 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 using this as a as a as a ploy to say hey we're we're wanting to leave them a stable government, but you haven't set up a stable government for them. Mm -hmm. You know they right it's in disarray. The Taliban has took over the capital. You know people over here are in a in an uproar for 
um, <laughs> some of those things. You know, what what some people was applauding what they did on the Capitol here in America, mm -hmm. and they was applauding that, but you're mad at what the Taliban did over there, and it's the same thing. In your country. In, in, their, in their country. They over there. You know, they say, hey, look, check this out. You know, since y'all are finna leave, we're going to do what we know how to do because they live by a certain code, certain principles. Mm -hmm. Not to say that I'm endorsing it, that I agree with, but I'm just, you know, in a universal understanding. You know what I'm saying? People came over here, did some things, to, to, tore up the whole country, you know, and that, hey, we follow certain principles that you want to change. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and, and that's always been the the uh, thought with that whole situation. But I just found it odd that, you know, you wait till two weeks before you're going to take out all military personnel to start evacuating people. And now you have an overload here because so many people want to get away because you have not been patriotizing or patriotizing people how you should have been. You know, some people have risked their lives and their family lives to help the United States. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now that you're saying you're going to leave, they want to leave too. Because what's going to happen once you leave? You know, to all the military personnel away. <clears throat> well, this, I mean, <laughs> this is what I really can't understand when it comes to that. And I always try to look at it because the media, to me, um, I just can't believe nothing the media put out there. <clears throat> they was talking about it was this, this fear about the Taliban taking over, right? Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, last year in 2020, mm -hmm. the US and the Taliban had a peace agreement. agreement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Biden in close contact with the Taliban, the Taliban is really supposed to be protecting people coming into Kabul. Right, right. right. Coming right. into there. Now, the, I guess the, the thread of the idea is, is throw my quotes up, ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, see, that's why when, when, when people like this, all this fear mongering, and, you know, these, these people, the Taliban, um, seeks to, in, in, uh, to implement the Islamic law, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is the, uh, what, the Syria law? Sharia law. Sharia law. That's based on theocracy. Right, right, right. <laughs> Something that we talk about as, you know, the nation of Yuri Wabe. When you don't want to do right, you're going to run away from all type of morality. And what we have to understand, morality is what a lot of us are looking for. But because the world has been so uh, this so-called free rural we can do what we want to do <laughs> nobody want to conform to right. morality right in the way it's taught by the most high mm -hmm. so it's a lot behind it. and i you know i want us to all kind of look into that and continue watching it but i don't want us to get caught up on the the fear mongling of trying to ostracize the people they did the same thing with our most of y'all, y'all, you know, you say something bad about them, you know, you don't talk about all the good stuff. Right, right. <laughs> you talk about all the good stuff that was done, you say something negative, and then all the people, oh, right, I stay away from them. But see, they don't talk about this in the news. They don't talk about um, the Taliban, the peace treaties, and, and they already expected the Taliban to come into the ship. Mm -hmm. They, 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 they already know that. <laughs> I mean, would you think you're just going to leave and everything going to be that like? It's, it's very geopolitical and it's it's unfortunate that because it's the see that's the difference in the spirituality versus religion if you're caught up in a religion you miss the spiritual but this country has a tendency of unfortunately like want to enforce their values right. on other people mm -hmm. and it's what for 20 years well you've been there for 20 years if if you hadn't got it right in 20 years, maybe you can't. <laughs> and so if the Taliban wants to get it to now, they do some things that, you know, that may not be kosher with everybody there. But they have their own Humane. personal 
Yeah, because some of the Sharia law is like, yeah, that, that's y'all going 5,000 years back. We really do need to come into modern reality. But that's them interpreting it the way they want to yes. interpret it. Right. See, that's right. sometimes the issue. That, see, right. religion, right. Yeah, they, right. see, religion, or spiritual. Mm -hmm. They look at it spiritual. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, we live in a time we know Jeff, we just talking about the female side of the brain. Right. Women, if, the way the most I taught us, you know, male, we were created male and female, and I was Adam. So, so women can be very intelligent. So, but the but to go try to enforce our values on that country, that country has to make some steps on its own. But when you force your, when you want to force your will on another country, you can't expect them to fight back. Now, for the people who did take the side of the U.S., yeah, you may want to let those people get out and get back. But but then the other side of that is people that want to stay and live in Afghanistan say, well, if you take our doctors and our scientists and the most intelligent among us, then what are you leaving us with? Man. You leaving us to fall? Man. And then if we fall, you're going to come in and subvert us? And then all of a sudden, what you go do? You want to then want to be the next thing? You go take away their religion and impose mm -hmm. it with your own? Now you're going to have a real war in Afghanistan right. if you want to replace. <laughs> Islam with Christianity, right. you're going to start a, a holy war mm -hmm. as far as they're concerned. So it's, it's, it's very geopolitical, but it, it, it gets back to, like we say, the theocracy and, um, and morals. If they could get the religion out of the way and get into the spirituality, it could move forward. Mm -hmm. But this country, I hate to say we, because we do have a lot of benefits in this country, but we have to learn that we can't impose our views on other people. Yeah, on the road. <clears throat> because, see, we, we when they impose their views on us as a people, okay, you thought it was okay to enslave us as a people. There you go. <laughs> so you could make a free country for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, that was very beneficial for you, but it wasn't beneficial for us. Right, right, right. right. And now, and, and to complain, yeah, we may be advanced technologically, but <laughs> We have never reaped the benefits of the blood, sweat, and tears that we put into this country. You know, we should be at a whole different level right. for the sacrifices that our people had to make. That's right. But now you have a plateau, and now you want to say everything is okay and everything is equal. No, it's not. And then you want to reach back, and you want to go to another country now and tell that country how to run and dictate themselves. That's where you really have to be careful mixing your views like when someone believes in Sharia law, you can't bring your Western values right. in and expect it not to create chaos. Right, right. There you go. Unless you go take over that whole country and kill everyone. That's it. So is it okay for you to kill all those people? They believe differently. So is it okay to kill all of those people just to impose a Western set of values? Right. And, and, and not to, you know, create separatism, but just to give people some understanding, I see a lot of people are in an uproar about the bombing that mm -hmm. took place, right? And some of the things that they do. But they done the same thing here in America. Mm -hmm. You know, they 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 bombed out people three times that I know of. Right. In Oklahoma, or in more. Philadelphia, or, or more. But I mean literal bomb. <laughs> in Philadelphia, what, back the, in 85? The, the ones we knew about. Right, yes. the ones we know about. <laughs> You know, and get hit. But mm -hmm. it's no uproar about these things. It's mm -hmm. no uproar about, you know, a lot of the, the atrocities that we face as a people here. Right. Mm -hmm. But you want to get upset about another country. Mm -hmm. And again, that goes into what your brother Shan about, you know, the, the smoke and mirrors, you know what I'm saying? The politics, mm -hmm. you know, religion and spirituality. When you separate one from the other and you become spiritual, then you will have a better understanding and justice to one is an injustice to all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not going to stand up for what happened to our people here, how can you stand up for what's right. going on to those people? Right. And, and that's how they think. <laughs> they, they know all about this, sir. Right. So they, 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 they thought it's the same thing. You're a deceiver. You know? Most definitely. Right. So I mean, give us our country back and let us, let us run our country the way we want to, the way we should be running our country. <laughs> you get your values and stuff. You know, <laughs> they, want you, they want you the hell out of their country. Yeah. They yeah. really do. They sure do. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that, <laughs> Brother Ambassador. <laughs> that was a, a, a something great to, to you know, kind of open up and really talk about because there's so much going on in, in the media today. 
And we just got to be mindful. You know, the, the media ain't never always straightforward, especially mm-hmm. not the government, you know. And it's not to say to discount everything that they say. It's just say, do a little bit more digging. Do a right, little bit more right. research so you can find out the truth for yourself. You know, and that's that's the big the big thing that I want us to, to kind of take away from that. Um, but just have your eyes open. That's like I say this. It's good to say, watch and pray. <laughs> watch and pray because you never know when the time is. And we always have to be on watch, you know, and always have to be in connection with the most high. Um, all right. So this part of the program before we close out is the part that we talk about the author's book of the day. Um, again, I'm going to share the book, uh, Decoding True Manhood by Kay Inns. Um, This is the book here. It goes and breaks down a lot of great things in his book. One thing he talks about in here that um, I think I was talking about when it, when it comes to, to think, you know, when you're having that conversation or even as you know, a lot of times we, we, you know, somebody will come and tell you about somebody else, you know, and, and oftentimes we go off about what somebody else say opposed to finding out for ourselves about this person right Mm -hmm. you know and one thing he breaks down and he says think before you know doing anything and his acronym to that is is this true you know (laughs) just like you're talking about as far as the taliban they and they us have some things in them that this brutal group the taliban and all this and they're talking bad and negative about the taliban but nobody has really found out is it true like, is these people as bad as what everybody's saying? You right, know, right. Um, H, is it helpful? You know, the information is helpful to you. Can it can it better you? Can it make you change, you know, your, your whole thought press, uh, thought process about the person because you you heard from that person or you you got the information that you needed. Now, do, uh, is your views different? You know, is it helpful? You know, is this inspiring? Does it inspire you? You know, that's the, the I part of it. Then the N is, is it necessary? Is the information necessary? And I think a lot of times when we get information that can, you know, stir us in the right direction, it's always necessary. And then the last one is the K, is this kind? Like when you, when, is it, is it, is this kind? So having that, you know, conversation, um, understanding where it's coming from, is it, is it coming from a point of, you know, um, <clears throat> humility, you know, and, 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 and humbleness, you know, just being humble about whatever it is and, and just having that, that conversation, man, I think it's, it's, it's always great uh, to be able to open yourself up um, to, to understand a person, to be able to receive a person, and even with information that you share, to be able to understand where the information is coming from, who's putting information out there, you know, all these things here we have to be mindful of, because I'll do some research, I, I, you know, they put something in the news, they're like, okay, well, who is this putting it in the news? Where they get it from? Because I know the news people, all they're doing is reading a teleprompter. Right. All they're doing is reading a teleprompter, right. you know, it's going down the line, you know, <laughs> and where's this information coming from? You know, and that's that's the, the, the biggest thing we have to be um, concerned about. And it's not to say to discount it, it's just to say, do your research so you know where it's coming from. And that's um, my, oh, and definitely the spiritual significance of a name. <laughs> if you don't have that book, um, please do go to my website, yearmyisrael.com. Um, you can also go to the nation of YSWH.com. You can purchase that book there. And soon and very soon, we're going to have the ebook edition coming out October the 1st. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to be promoting that and advertising that. It's the ebook edition. It's going to be everywhere, y'all. It's going to be international, all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Congrats. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if we don't have anything else, brothers, uh, we'll get ready to close out. I, I throw it your way first, Minister. That book's going to ebook. We want to make it a bestseller. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just that one of the last comments when you're talking about kind and studying. One of the keys to study is like you have to be able to research the key is all. To be informed, you have to get a, a broad base of knowledge. Don't listen to just one source mm-hmm. because that source may not be telling you the entire That's story. True. Yeah. See mm-hmm. now, my what I think my mama my, my, my mama do you say it's three sides. His side her side, and then there's the truth. That's it. So you got to make sure you're getting the balance because if you're not careful, you can get a very distorted view mm-hmm. and that distorted view can affect your very life. 
if if you're going around with bad information. That's true. Most definitely, most definitely. Um, I'm just signing off. <laughs> you know, there's nothing more to be said. That 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 sums it up. You know, I saw a post uh, on Facebook and they were showing a, a mirror and an apple. And on this side of the apple that's not facing the mirror, it had a, a, a big bite out of it. So you know, once you bite it in the airhead, it turned mm -hmm. brown yeah. and it got got some little stuff going on <laughs> right there and a little drizzle going on the side. But on the side facing the mirror, the apple looks delicious. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it looks delicious, you know. So that goes back into, um, you know, a scripture that says to study and show thyself approved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You must, you must do your own research and 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 just not go off of what someone else may say because that someone might not just like that someone. Right. You know what I mean? And so, you know. All right. All right. Well, like I always, follow us, please, on Facebook and YouTube on Facebook at Education Center O R L. You, and then also on YouTube at Live Talk, the Education Center Orlando, you can follow us there. That's um, definitely when you go, um, subscribe and like any videos that you see. Um, did I leave out anything? Oh, also, Author Yeremiah, you can go to the website, um, www.yeremiahisrael.com. That's where you see a lot of our events. You can register for the events. And also, oh, you can purchase the book as well. And then other items uh, you can purchase from there as well. And if I haven't left anything out, we're going to conclude. And I just sign off saying peace and prosperity. We're out. We'll see you next time. I don't. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? For live. Are you ready? Let's do it. Uh, Are you talk. ready? Uh, this live Are you talk. ready? Uh, live Are you talk. ready? Uh, yes, sir. Are you ready? For the word of the day, uh, the knowledge and the wisdom will increase your faith. Uh, Are you ready for live talk? Yeah. Because it's about time to set, set it, it on. on. Are you ready? Let's go. For the word of the day, hey. the knowledge and the wisdom will increase your faith. Say Are you what? ready? For live talk, yeah. because it's about time uh, to set it uh, off. Increase your mentality, put away carnality, and increase your spirituality. Let's Are you go. ready? Live talk. Are you ready? This live talk. Are you ready? Live talk. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Live talk. For the word of the day, uh. the knowledge and the wisdom will increase your faith. Are you ready? For live talk, because it's about time to set it off.